Hey, how's it going? Western97 here, bringing you a new Let's Play. This time we're playing Star Sector. It's a game that's not quite out in Steam yet. It's in development. I picked it up off the developer's website. If I remember, I'll put the link to it in the description below. I'm not being sponsored or anything. But it appears to be quite a fun little space game. So I thought I'd uh, share it all with you. So we're going to go for... Uh, yeah, sure, why not? Um, going to take the mercenary leader because there is a heck of a lot of pirates in this, and uh, we're going to do it on normal because, yeah, no point having it too easy for ourselves. We'll uh, see how we do. I have played up to the tutorial bit and just basically completed that just to get a feel for it and see whether it's uh, worth sharing with you lot. Uh, I thought it was. If you like it, obviously drop a like. If not, no harm, no foul. Welcome to the sector. Your fleet is in the middle of nowhere with critically low supplies. Excuse me a second, I'm dying. If you don't acquire more supplies, your fleet will suffer through a slow and ultimately fatal decline. Fortunately, there's a debris field nearby. Move up to it and activate your scavenger ability and search it for useful cargo. It's possible to scavenge through the same debris fields multiple times, but there's diminishing returns and an increased risk with each attempt. Only scavenge once here. Make sure to take all the supplies and any other valuable cargo, but feel free to leave the cheap, bulky metals behind. We'll just quickly plant through that. Your fleet assumes a stable orbit relative to the debris fields. The field appears stable and will not drift apart anytime soon. Long range scans indicate it's likely something of value could be found inside. There are indications of some easy pickings to be had and a low risk of accident during the salvage operation. We've only got people, we have no heavy machinery, though we hopefully will pick some of those up. Like that. Take everything and confirm. And quick save, because the game wants us to. A pirate fleet is approaching. First you'll spot it as a sensor contact. Then as an unidentified fleet. Then when it gets very close, you'll see its true colours. Don't worry about the pirate sheet. It's a shoddy rust bucket. And if you lose, you can press F9 to quick load. Even in combat. Even so, combat can be expensive. Especially if there's no bounty on the enemy you fight. Deploying ships into battle reduces their combat readiness and recovering CR consumes supplies. Battle damage can cost more, even more supplies to repair. However, fighting is often necessary to survive. Wait for the pirate fleet to approach, then defeat them. Nope, we're going to hunt them down. Pirates ships maneuvers to prevent you from disengaging easily. It does not appear to be certain of your identity. Any host abilities will reduce impact on your reputation. If space is steal foods to feed his family, his comrades, they call it piracy. If that makes me pirate, then I'd rather be a pirate than some poor tool saluting the phoenix. Well, move to engage. Continue. Select which ships to deploy at the beginning of each battle and deploy reinforcements as the battle goes on. Deploying a ship reduces its combat readiness by a fixed amount. In addition, ships will begin to gradually lose combat readiness after their peak readiness times runs out. It's only one ship, so I'm only going to deploy my main vessel because I should be able to take that out relatively easy. I just need to remember that this is not the ship that I think it is. Come on. Flux to dissipate. There we go. And it's done. Would be quicker with more than one, but that decreases readiness and everything else. Your forces were able to gain a complete victory in the 
last engagement, your forces were able to recover some of the combat readiness as they controlled the battle space, and the engagement was limited. 272 credits worth of stuff, and some other useless junk. Your fleet supply consumption has just gone up. Recumber recovering combat readiness uses to deploy ships into battle costs supplies, as does repairing battle damage. To reduce supply use, repairs, and CR recovery on ships can be suspended from the sheet menu. So, you can suspend all repairs. Move. We are now level 2. Quick save. Right. You have gained a level. Normally you only gain one character point with each level up, but you get an additional three points at the start of your campaign. You can spend character points to increase aptitude and skills. Each aptitude governs a set of skills, and the maximum level of a skill is limited by the level of the governing aptitude. The maximum level you can reach is level 50. Once the character points are spent, they cannot be refunded. Press C to open the character tab, and consider your options. Now, obviously, as you can only get to level 50, that gives you 49 points, plus the 3 extra, so you get 52. You got three, six, nine, twelve, and then you got three, six, nine, twelve, fourteen, fourteen. That doesn't make sense. Three, six, nine, twelve, fifteen. That's a better count. Eighteen, thirty-six, four, sixty, sixty, seventy-two. So basically, you are not going to combat. So you kind of need to think what you're going to need to do um, obviously as it's I've only done the uh, tutorial I don't know the best option so any advice is welcome I will probably ignore it because I'm an idiot uh, I'm going to go mainly for the, the combat based ones so I'm going to go for like the flux capacity the shields the um, Maybe the maneuverability and the acceleration because I found that enemies getting away from me was a real problem. So I kind of don't want that to be a huge issue again. Um, but it's one of those I don't know best. I also did a little bit of scavenging in. But again, most of that was kind of crap. So I think I'm going to go for kind of a combat based run. Shortly after dispatching the pirates, you receive a tight beam communication from the system's main inhabited world. The message is brief and asks you to travel there to the sub and contact the station commander as soon as possible. Let's lay in a course for the station. If you don't need to do this to travel but it helps keep track of where you are going and how long it'll take to get there after dismissing this dialogue press E open the Intel screen to view the details of the message you've just received select the message select the show on map which is what we're going to do you can also do it manually but that's a pain in the neck and I hate doing that so although I've just done it there which whatever right the location is pretty far away and takes a while to get there at this rate. The sustained burst ability is useful for long distance travel. Activating it will briefly stop the fleet, reducing its acceleration to a minimum, but the maximum burn level will be much higher. A sustained burn can interrupt, be interrupted by other fleets activating it. Indiction pulse. Interdiction pulse. Activate sustained burn. Which is power we're going to get round most times in space. Up until we get the emergency burn. Um, your fleet is getting close which is, uh, to the location which is controlled by the Hegemongery, a major militaristic faction in the sector. While the Hegemongery space a fleet is required by law to identify itself by keeping its transponder turned on, this view is shared by most, if not all, major factions. Turn on the transponder, make sure your fleet highly visible, and everyone will see it will know who you are. It's unlikely. Unlike that pirate fleet you fought earlier, which is why you had to get very close to positive and identify it. Keeping your transponder on is 
a crippling disadvantage in hostile space, but as we're getting closer to a port we'd like to dock there, it's a good idea to turn it on. Double click to turn it on. And they shouldn't mess with me. Comms, talk to the commander. You open it, you connect to the local comm directory and browse the public and otherwise known listings. You transmit your comms ID and wait for the systems to establish a connection. Your connection request is accepted surprisingly quickly given that a citizen has many responsibilities. Ah, you've come, excellent. As you are well aware recently, I suppose we can skip all that. I would like a refresher. We've been running experiments on the dormant gate in this system, trying to connect it back to the domain gate network. Promising experiments or so we thought until a pulse, energy pulse we expected would get a response from the gate, destabilize the jump points leading to the system, cutting us off from the rest of the sector. It's rather how the sector is cut off from the domain. Writ small. The st stars have a sense of irony, do they not? The miners of the station, which is located in this system, was operating near a subsistence level were hit the hardest. They turned to piracy at intercepting one of the lo last food shipments to come in out of desperation no doubt but there were deaths and they put themselves well outside the law. The leaders know that if the jump points are stabilised the system is once again part of the sector they can look forward to a life sentence at the penal colony at best. The miners turned pirate are guarding the jump points preventing us from gathering recent readings and coming up with a way to stabilise them. We have a security detachment that could handle the forces but it's tied up defending here. Pirates are too much for you to take on, but fortunately you don't have to. The guard agent and the station who was able to gain access to the recent sensor readings from the ship guarding the jump points, but they have not been able to get to a long range comms array to send the data to us. That's where you come in. Why, Why not? I'm not exactly spoilt for choice, and you've shown the ability to handle difficulties. It's not like it. it'll be a milk run, that's for sure. What's the plan? First off, make sure to turn your transponder off once you're undocked. I've instructed the security detachment not to give you any trouble about that. If you're lucky, the pirates may even think you're one of their own and let you approach the station without any trouble. Still, it makes sense to go dark as you get closer. Make sure they can't get too good a read on your fleet. If they notice me, then you're in trouble. Activate emergency burn to get out of there, lose them, and come back around and try again. Don't e-burn unless... You really need to though, it's hard on the ships and will cost you more supplies to recover from. Eat up a good chunk of fuel too. Excellent. Thank you for willing, be willing, being willing to help come back here when you've got the data. Good luck. Well, there's no point spending money at this point because you're going to get an absolute load later. So. Get somewhere close, just outside their range, and then drop onto going dark because it slows us right down speed wise. And I want to avoid that pirate ship fleet. Open the comms, talk to the agent. You contact the agent and exchange path phases to verify each other's identity. The agent then transmits. Data file with the recent raw sensor readings on the unstable jump point. And we want to get out of here. Explore it. Turn that on, because otherwise the security team's going to be upset. So, go here. Come on. Tab. Click it. Do it that way then. Doop, doop, doop. Con directory. Good. You have the data. Well done. There's a brief wait as you transmit the data file. Now the system is running a preliminary analysis of the data. I believe you're due a reward. 5,000 credits. Not bad. There's a chime in the background, and she looks concerned. Is there a problem? Yes, the system estimates it'll take about a cycle to analyse the data and come up with a stabilisation algorithm. Naturally, by then, the data would be out of date, 
and any algorithm based on it is meaningless. If we had an AI core on hand, we could analyze the data more quickly. Fortunately, there's a survey probe somewhere in the system, one left over from the initial exploration of the sector by the domain. It should have at least one AI core serving as a frame. Where is it and why isn't it salvaged? To answer your second question, domain artifacts are usually protected by automated defences that still function to this day, and this probe is no exception. The hegemongery generally forbids civilian interference with domain artifacts for the sake of public safety, of course. Desperate times, however. As to where it is, my data indicates it's somewhere beyond the orbit of Pontus. Get there and head out beyond the asteroid belt, then use an active scan burst. You should at very least be able to get a sense of contact with the probe. Head towards it, perform a salvage, bring it back the air I got. And that's over here somewhere. So I'll quickly set that. I miss being able to travel this fast compared to the um, later on in the uh, tutorial when I had some slow ships pulling my max moods right down. But uh, hopefully that won't be a problem for a little while yet. Right, keep going past here. Somewhere down here. There was something. There we go. Domain probe. Your fleet approaches the domain era probe left behind from the initial domain exploration of the sector. Pitted by small impacts, the probe's hull displays iridescence typical of fearsome radiation scarring, though this probe's manufacture could well date to be a thousand cycles ago. Some systems are still running nominally active. As your fleet moves in closer, several energy signatures are detected coming online inside the probe's hull. We've got two defences, that's not too bad. Well, we're going to engage them. Uh, I'm going to use most of them because then that actually gives us some half decent capability. Fight this from tactical viewport. This should be a relatively easy fight that shouldn't require no active involvement on my part, if I'm being really honest. Although it does look like that probe thing is getting away. It's a little bit weird. There we go. Claim victory. Yep. Your forces were able to gain a complete victory in the last engagement. Your forces were able to recover some combat readiness as they recontrolled the battle space and the engagement was looted. Pick through the wreckage. Pick everything. Good. 3,000 experience is always nice. As your fleet finishes mopping up the automated defences, a weak hyperwave ping is detected coming from the probe. It's on care if this is a random noise from a dying substation or some kind of encrypted signal. It's probably going to be an encrypted signal. Your fleet finishes it approach to the domain era probe without further incident. Begin salvage. Not a great haul, but I'll take everything I can get. Uh, that then lets us go back to the station. And that's give us a level up. Gives us level three. Which is rather nice. I remember to uh, press that on. And hold shift because otherwise it'll take forever. Transponder's still on, so not fussed. Gravity of the star. Chucks us out on a big slingshot. Made it a little bit more. Uh, Awkward to land. That seems tends to be the problem I have with hyperspace. I don't know whether you lot have the same problem. Open comms. Doctor, you. 
You connect to the local solid work. I'll get my technicians working right on this right away. In the meantime, this should cover your expenses, hopefully with a good amount left over. 8,000 is pretty darn good, so I'll take that. I'll send you the stabilization algorithm when the core works it up. Once you have it, it should be a simple matter of running it using your fleet's drive field as a means of intercepting with a jump point. However, there's still a matter of the mines guarding both jump down jump points out of the system and you said the forces were significant well it's all relative our security detachment could handle them easily as I mentioned it's tied down defending here your fleet on the other hand you might be able to handle them with some stellar piloting and a bit of luck but it's best not to take such chances especially when there's an alternative what alternative there's a ship graveyard around Terra. ships were deemed not worth the effort of restoring Wait, bulk transit to one of the ship breaking facilities elsewhere. Though now, though they'll serve our needs. Go there and recover all the ships you can, and break the ones you can't for supplies. Make sure to bring back enough crew to operate the recovery ship. An extra hundred or so will do. You'll need to transport them somehow too. Here, take this mud skip transport. Consider it part of your reward. Now, this is where we repair everything, buy a load of stuff. Now, we can either pay ridiculous fees 30% tariff which is ludicrous or we can go on the back market and not pay that so I tend to get into a lot of trouble by buying everything on the black market because ships are suddenly expensive and I can buy stuff unfortunately that also negatively affects our reputation so it's one of those that we tend not to do particularly well whichever way around we go. Now, I'll shift first, where's the... I want all the supplies, and I want all the crew members, because... That takes all my money. Right, map. That way. Playing force. Go. And they pursue me because they think I'm a tra uh, smuggler. Mainly because I'm not paying their tariff fees. If they weren't unreasonable, I wouldn't really have a problem with it, but. Alright. There's a lot of minerals on this planet. I didn't set up a base on here. Um, let's leave a second. Right. Let's see what ones we can get hold of. Explore. Scavenge. Take all. Hoping to get some of the uh, Crusader ones. I know it's like really badly damaged, so. Floor, recover. Kite's a nice little interceptor. So we'll take that. Another hammerhead would be nice. Yes, awesome. Depends how many D mods it's got. Couldn't get that one. Bit of a shame. Not many supplies either. We are getting squat all goods from these, but hey ho. I'm sure I got more last time. But. Anyhow. Recover. Right. Tab. Back to base. Lay in a course very quickly. Scan. Come on. Attention, your fleet matches the profile of a suspected smuggler posted by the authorities. You are hereby submitted to a cargo scan. 
After a brief wait, the Hedgemonger security detachment transmits the scan results. No contraband or suspicious cargo found. The commander looks vaguely displeased. Well, everything else looks clean this time. I'm not in a place where I can fight any of these things. Because they are considerably better than me. Right. Open calm. Touch the leader that put the notification out on me. Welcome back. A bunch of rust buckets, aren't they? But put some weapons on them, get a proper refit done, and with a dedicated crew, they'll do all right. It's no worse than what the pirates have got, at any rate. Speaking of weapons. Yes, I was just about to talk to you about that. Not much to buy on the open market, but we have some stores. I've already ordered local storage space to assign be assigned to you and some suitable weapons transferred there along with enough supplies to speedily bring the new ships back to full combat readiness use them to outfit your ships make sure you've got enough crew for a full complement on every ship and break the rogue miners defense as at the inner jump point after this conversation is over press R to open the refit screen and after selecting a specific kit you can press V to auto fit Pick the desired load out of the ship will automatically be refitted to match it using the, what weapons are available. In addition, you have access to the local scores and some weapons and supplies have been placed there. I'll take it you've got solar in Ralton. Correct. These cores seem like they can work miracles sometimes. Let me transfer the results. Good luck to you. And if you fail, well, we'll just have to send the security force to do the job, but then it could get very messy. It's good to know you've already working on plan B. Come on, it's not so grim. I have every expectation you'll succeed, or I wouldn't send you, but it's my responsibility as a commander to plan for every eventuality and not rely on miraculous saviours. Now about those miners. The two fleets guarding the two jump points will aid each other if you engage one when the other is nearby, so it'll be easier fight if you manage to separate them first. If you can't, it should still be a fight you can win them. Copy that. I'll be back here when the job's done. Right. Oh, I want everything out of stuff. Yeah. So let's help ourselves with all these nice weapons. And those fighter squads I can't use. Market. Sell them. Sell them. Right. Plenty of supplies. Uh, refit even. Ordnance, fighter by, auto fit, attack. Um, buy from market, for our purchase. Confirm. Auto fit, assault. Um, why have I only got the two? Confirm. Auto fit standard. Auto fit balanced. Auto fit light. So what we got top speed? 40. That's slow and painful. Um, that's really going to keep me down, I think. Fleet. Maximum burn level. Eight over the slowest. I've only got one point left to spend. Um, take the extra. Come on. One maximum speed. Turn that off a second. My maximum speed is eight. That's not too slow for me, I'm brutally honest. I think that's where I was previously. Now, the pirates probably should run from me, given the size of my fleet relative to theirs, but we'll see shortly.
stabilize the jump point. You load the stabilization algorithm into your jump program and the drives field goes through a series of astrocheric fluctuations, the resonance gradually cancelling out the instability of this jump point. The jump point should be stable enough to within a day or so. Return and let them know. Right. Comms. Tell him. Well done, station commander. Seems giddy with excitement. You actually did it. You never know with these things. It's just a release not to be cooped up in this system anymore. Here's your rewards. Well earned and with my gratitude. In addition, I've set you up with a monthly stripend from the academy in recognition of services rendered. Should run for three full cycles. 10,000. And we are now favorable with those. Or him. And five with the faction. Now, I expect the authorities in the on headquarters on Jangola would like to hear about the recent events. Would you deliver a report for me? Ask to speak with the station commander when you get that out. And I'm sure to make take enough fuel to make the trip flying in system as you have been doing doesn't use fuel so it's easy to forget that flying in hyperspace does it doesn't it's not too far but with your current fleet you'll need at least 90 units of to get there if you do manage to run out of fuel somehow and get stuck in an uninhabited system and that'd be a real feat on the galactic versus route let me tell you you can always issue a distress call and wait for help to arrive. I'm also declaring a bounty on the remaining rogue mining fleets out there. If you like, you can just stick around and help mop up more before you go. Nothing in my actions. Right. We're going to stick around and basically mop them up. Uh, just because it'll improve our relationships with them. Give us some experience. And help us out, so we're gonna basically just try and find a chunker out here. Assume a stable audit, helps ourselves to whatever's going. Now, there's a ping over that way, so let's try and go that way. Hopefully we can catch them. Yep. Open come. They should have sent a real navy, not some ground up <clears throat> in a back suit. Move to engage. Command. And I have just realized I did not fix these ships. Which is not a good place to be. Attack cruiser, assault frigate, balance destroyer. I'm going to keep the ships out of combat. We will actually end up fighting this one. So hopefully, we get there before too much of the. Uh, Battle's done. We've got a nice small percentage of little ships out there. Come on. I need to drop that before I have too much problems. That's not where I want to be because I'm out of power. Event. Get this back under control. I haven't got my custom set up yet. Uh, why am I spinning out of control? Uh, I think it's very well. Um, there we go. I'm back under control now. That's fine. Right, let's down that ship. Oh, 
should be able to. Oh crap. That's a few missiles I don't want to play with. Then, don't know whether that actually scored any hits, but it doesn't look like it did, damn it. I don't know if I can carry it. Let's give them a bit more support. Otherwise, we're going to start losing combat readiness. We need to get out of here. We are starting to lose. There we go. Then, come on. Down that quick enough. I know we're losing the combat readiness, but I need to drop these quick. Oh, I've gone too far. Come on, stop spinning in dead space. Crap. There we go. Malfunction, right. Do that. That's because I I'm used to the old setup on the uh the previous playthrough that I did just to get hold of things and you get used to how you fight. <coughs> it's like this ship is not handling like it used to. This is the same ship, it's just... Before... It's, uh... One of those that... All the ships, there we go. Plane victory. I don't think there's any left, is there? Uh, no, there isn't. One got away, but I'm not catching that, so... Clear report indicates approximately 20 crew and no marines were lost during the last engagement. Your forces were victorious in the last engagement. After a tactical victory, your forces have the opportunity to cleanly disengage. Yes, let them go. Your ships make no move to pursue, allowing the enemy forces to withdraw without further incident. The salvage chief reports several ships disabled or destroyed during the battle can be restored to basic function. Recovering ships instead of breaking them apart greatly reduces the salvage gain from these ships. Um, ooh. Uh, right, we've got structural damage, increased maintenance, glitchy sensor, compromised hull, faulty power grid, erratic fuel injector, degraded engines, compromised hull, faulty power grid, structural damage. Um, we can probably recover all of them, to be fair. Uh, two to recover. Not quite. We'd be on skeletal crew. Uh, fine, frag it. I haven't got a strike destroyer before. But it's got a lot of 
damage, so it's not great. Um, I'll take the light cruiser and scrap the rest. 2,500 worth of credits. Take all that useless stuff. I know one of our ships don't have enough personnel to crew, but that's not a problem. Because we are going to go back to play, of course. And that's given us 12,000 in a bounty, improved relationships, and took me to level 6. So we're going to head back, get this ship functional, and then take it from there. So what I'm going to do is probably go for the maximum flip capacity and increase the f on my ship because then that actually gives me some staying power. Actually reset that one. And oh yeah I need the, the extra point in the combat to do that. Uh, okay. Put the one point in there. I'm fine. That means we theoretically can build a very nice tank, but we won't do that. Um, iron crew, refit, auto fit. Nope. Confirm. Top speed, thirty-seven. That's really poor. Strip everything. Fleet. Um, sell it. Yes. That puts us back up to normal strength and gives us a nice bit of cash so we can actually repair all our ships and go back out. But that's for another episode. I've been Western Alex Evan. This has been my Let's Play Star Sector. I hope you enjoyed the series so far. If you are, leave a like and let me know you want to prioritize it over other games we plan to do play for you. That being said, as always, till next time, take care, goodbye, and thanks for watching.